Hey Masked Singer fans, what's going on? Joey here, and if you're anything like me, for the past few days since they released those costumes, you've been pretty much jumping everywhere online trying to find a leak, a spoil, some kind of information that we may not know for the upcoming Season 7 of The Masked Singer. Well, guess what? I think I just found something out that we probably shouldn't know yet, and so I want to share it with you guys before we get started. Make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So, for those who may not know, and maybe you started last season, do you remember how they started doing NTFs? I think they're calling them NTFs, yes. NTFs for the Mask Singer. Well, there's a website called maskverse.com, and it's a website where every single week they drop new cards that you can collect for about $20. I think it's for $20, you get three different cards, you can even upgrade to get golden cards, and that's how you can win an experience to go ahead and actually go out for a filming of season seven. And there's a lot that goes into it. But if you're like me, you went last year and you bought some of those cards, and I have a lot of them. It's actually pretty cool because they're holograms and they're one of a kind, and there's all these things that you get to collect and you can trade and sell them. And obviously it's, it's another way for them to kind of make money off of the show, but it's a fun little collector's thing that us as fans can do on the side while the show is going on. And uh, as far as we know, they're bringing it back for season seven. They're gonna bring back other costumes, costumes from this season and so on and so forth. But I just so happened to be scrolling on themasksinger.com and saw a thing of like, you know, get ready for, you know, more masks on the mask fur. So I was like, oh, I haven't been on here in a while. I wonder what's going on. Well, I opened up the website and something jumped out at me. Okay, literally, if you're scrolling, this is the main website. You don't have to be logged in for this, by the way. But if you scroll down, you'll see this box. Well, maybe if my computer allows me to scroll down, you will see this box right here in the corner. This box was not here as of at least a week and a half ago. Now, when you go to click it, you have to sign in and do all that stuff. But... Just to give you the preview of what it says, it says February 9th, the next premium airdrop for collection holders coming soon. So what does that mean? I mean, right now it is February 2nd. Is it possible that they just kind of mistakenly told us that next Wednesday, it's exactly one week from today, that will be the next time we get the next costumes? Or maybe they're going to be the next cards? Or is it something like what happened last season where they gave a preview for everything going on on Fox and you used to go through like as an avatar into different parts of the behind the scenes stages and you would find out the new costumes and watch new performances? As of right now, I mean, this is what we have. You go to click it, asks you to sign in. If you bear with me, I'll sign in real quick. Uh, no, it says right here. The next thing will drop in six days and 20 hours. Ooh, let me log in one second. Let's do this real quick, okay? 2MJ, I want you to read this with me, okay? It says right here that, oh, it's freezing. Give it one second. The event begins in six days, 23 hours and 24 minutes. Please return here at the time of the event. So what event is going to take place on February 9th? You know, I, I, there's so many things you can go through. I know one thing that I can say is, if you're not a part of the Masked Singer Discord, you totally should be. There's a lot of good information in there. Nothing yet on them actually announcing anything, anything to do with this February 9th date. But just looking at the research and seeing what we've seen so far online, it looks like by next week, we'll go ahead and get more costumes for the show. Keep in mind, at this point, we have only six costumes. And they're broken up into three different groups. The good, the bad, and the cuddly. Now, I have a whole video breaking down all of the costumes, which I'll put in the description below. Or, if it lets me, sometimes, with this whole thing that we have going on with YouTube where we're not getting paid, they, they kind of remove some of the features. So, if it's not in the corners here, I'll put it down below. But, looking and knowing that there were three groups, is it possible that next week, in exactly six days, 
23 hours and now I guess 41 minutes, we'll go ahead and find out more costumes. Anyway, I want to know, what do you guys think of the costume so far? Are you guys excited for season seven? And for those fans who've kind of made it to the end of the video and maybe you watch the UK version of The Masked Singer, is it Michelle Williams? Is, is it Michelle Williams? For those who have no idea, there's a character, the grasshopper, I want to call it, that sings. And we did a pitch correct video like a month and a half ago, kind of breaking down the audio. And you guys have been saying it from the get-go that it's Michelle Williams. I haven't had a second at all. No second yet to actually sit down and go through the clues because it would take a lot of time. But it's starting to sound like Michelle Williams. I know, right? I know. And as a reminder, this is such a big thing and people always overlook it. Go on to your favorite celebrities on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. Go ahead and see if it just so happens that this week or the last what, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of last week, maybe they're in LA. Maybe they live in uh, maybe they live somewhere else in the country and it just so happens that they're in LA. And the reason why I say this is so important is because if it just so happens that they're in LA or maybe they completely got off of social media, it could mean that they're on the mask singer because as you know, you can't really film behind the scenes and there's it's a very, very strict, a lot of strict rules when it comes to the mask singer, especially if you're a celebrity because you know, you could continue on with the show and you don't want to catch COVID in the middle of it. So you kind of have to get tested a lot and they have to do all these things. And so if your favorite celebrity isn't posting, it is possible that they're on the mask singer. And if you go on to on camera audiences, the website where you can get tickets for the mask singer, they posted one more date. That's right. They have a lot of dates on here. And I think all together we counted maybe 12 off the top of my head. They posted one on Friday. At 12.30, it's the 18th. And it's weird because all the other ones have been done in threes. We had like the last the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of January. Then there's the 3rd, 4th, and 5th, 11th, 12th, 13th, and then just 18th. So is it possible that that 18th, which you can't get tickets for yet, it just says submit information. Is it possible that that date is the finale that they're filming? Which would indicate that's what? It's 12 episodes plus a sing-along and, and a best of kind of thing. Anyway, once again, let me know what you think about the costumes. What do you think about February 9th? Be prepared for February 9th. And I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. Stay safe and sound. I'll see you later. Bye. I said it really weirdly, didn't I? <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye.